Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to remove all the items from the list, how to clear it, and also how to add some warning messages for better user experience. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to watch all the other React tutorials. Now that we have all the items removing from the list, let's try to display a message saying that there are no items on our list. And that will be very, very simple. Inside of the remove item method, all we have to do is have a little if statement. This will update the message to no items on your list, add some when the new buy items is zero. Okay, so when we remove all our items, this will be the message. And then what we can do inside of the render method itself, we want to only render this table when we have more than one or one and more buy items. Okay, so what we can do here is to include by items dot length is greater than zero and that we will then we will want to render this but again I need to wrap this inside of square braces and move everything inside of it. Okay so now we've got everything rendering fine and if we preview it in a browser, we should only see the table if we have one or more buy items. Otherwise, we're showing the message. And also the message, actually, we need to update the if statement. We want to show it when the message is not empty, but also when the buy items length is zero. Okay, so this will check for the message, whether it's empty or we have a no buy items, then we want to show the message. Okay, so what I've done here, I've updated the if statement, we're checking for two conditions, not just one. Okay, now if I save it, go to the browser, we should be able to remove, 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 and then see the message, no items on your list, add some. And the test is already on the list. It works fine. And this is the validation message. And also, as you can see, we don't see any table. So the table is only rendered if we have more than one item. Okay, if you look at the React Dev Tools, you'll see that the table is only rendered if there is more than one item. Otherwise, there's only the message showing up. And the last thing we'll do is to add a table foot with a button inside of it, which will be called clear list. And I want you to pause the video and think, how would you implement the functionality on this button to clear the shopping list? Okay, so to remove all the items from the list, how would you go about it? Just think about it. And if you're following step by step, try to do it on your own. I'll reveal my solution shortly. Okay, I hope the last three videos helped you and made you more confident working with React. So here is the solution. We are simply adding on click callback onto the button and inside of it, we will call a new method that we will need to create will be this clear all and we need to create this method just above the render method. And inside of it, we will need the, this set state. And inside of the object, we will need to set the buy items to be empty array because we want to reset it to empty. And we will also take the message from the empty array, which we've done before when we were removing all the items. 
So we'll keep the message exactly the same. We are resetting by items to empty array and setting the message to no items on your list. Okay, I'm saving the file. Now we can go back to the browser. And when I click the clear list, we should see the array being reset to empty. And here is the message, no items on your list. Easy peasy. <laughs> Hope you've learned something new in these last three videos. Definitely playing with this simple shopping list, to-do list and arrays, modifying them, filtering them will make working with React much more easier. So hope you've learned something new. Let me know in the comments if you worked it out, if this was super clear to you, how to create a clear all functionality. And if there are any other questions related to all the previous React tutorials, let me know. I'm happy to create more to, to help you with some of the aspects that you still don't understand. And that's it all for today. Now you know how to clear all the items, how to reset your state and also how to display some warning messages, some notifications for the user to improve the user experience. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You know that I always try to come up with the tutorial topics based on your comments. So yes, you go down to the comments and let me know what else would you like to learn about React and I'll try to cover that in the future videos. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Now that we have the shopping list done, let me know in the comments what else would you want to learn in the next videos. What app would you want me to build? Not me, we will build it together. Until next time, happy coding!